Hey there YouTube, what's up? It is Matt Carl BMWZ3 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own projector that is cheap, easy to make, connects straight to a laptop, and pumps out great quality video onto an insanely large screen. Such as this 8 foot wall. Pretty good, right? Let's get started. So there's only a few things that you need for this project. Uh, the first being an external monitor. Uh, now you might already have one laying at home, uh, but I picked one up at the thrift store uh, for uh, around $10. And usually the smaller the screen size, the better, uh, because the screen's going to be fitting on top of the next item you need, which is an overhead projector. So this is just a regular overhead projector that you'd see in a classroom. Uh, you can find these on Craigslist or uh, I found mine on eBay for around $30. And you want to make sure that the light uh, is coming from inside, shining up through the glass, uh, through the lens, and out on the wall. I know that some of them shine down into a mirror, uh, and that's the kind you don't want. You want the light to be shining from the inside of the projector up through uh, magnifying glass and then the lenses. And finally, uh, you just need a table for the whole setup to rest on so that it can project on the wall uh, at a nice height. All right, so the basic principle behind uh, the projector that we're gonna make is that an LCD monitor, uh, the, how it works is there's a translucent uh, LCD glass and a backlight behind it, which um, creates the light and then that's what allows you to see what's on the screen. So what we're going to do is take apart the monitor, take out the backlight, and then put it onto the uh, glass surface of the projector. And so the light inside is going to shine up uh, through the magnifying glass, through the lenses, and going to project it onto the wall, which actually makes a really good picture uh, for only spending a couple dollars. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take apart the external monitor. Uh, now this is probably going to be slightly different for everyone because not all monitors are put together the exact same way. Uh, but most of them have the same general design, so uh, I'm going to still film it anyway, and hopefully you guys can get some, uh, some pointers of taking them apart. Alright, so now that you have all the screws out, uh, it's just a matter of going around the seam between the front and the back face plate, and uh, just going in there with either uh, a flathead screwdriver or a knife, and uh, prying the two apart. All right, now that you have all the screws out, uh, you can just slowly take off this back plate. And it reveals all the circuitry of the monitor. All right, so when you're finished taking apart the monitor, uh, if the actual LCD panel has the uh, circuitry going onto the back, that's what you don't want. You don't want your LCD monitor to uh, have the circuitry folding back onto itself. Uh, what you do want it to look like is right here. Uh, as you can see, this is another LCD panel, uh, but instead of the circuitry folding back onto itself, it actually just extends off onto the actual circuitry of the LCD monitor. All right, now to mount the monitor uh, to the projector, we're just going to simply lay it over very carefully. It's all very delicate. Uh, lay it over so that uh, this would be the front of the screen that would be facing outside um, outside on the monitor. So we're going to lay that down and then place the circuitry behind it. Uh, this is when you want to find a, a good sized table that would fit everything. Okay. So behind here I just have a couple boxes so that they're not hanging from the wires. All right, so this is the LCD panel mounted onto the projector, uh, and I just have uh, it plugged up to uh, a laptop uh, via VGA, uh, or, you know, it'd be any display port that the monitor had. Uh, so I have a little shelf back there that I just put the laptop on, and then uh, I just drag uh, the window over that you want to view whatever you want, whether it be YouTube or Netflix or even a video game. Um, so I, you just drag it over to here, and I have these, uh, these black strips that I cut out that uh, help it frame it a little bit better on the wall. And so now I guess I'll just uh, show you how, uh, how good the quality is and how big uh, the screen can get. So. All right, so this is the view from behind the projector. Uh, here's the projector, and that's what it's projecting onto. Uh, you want to find a pretty good sized wall, um, depending on how far back the projector is. Uh, make sure it's, it's clean. You don't really have to have a projector screen since... Uh, the screen does get very large. So right now it doesn't look that great, uh, but when you turn out the lights, uh, you can tell that the 
uh, the quality is very good and it projects onto an insanely large surface. So when you are using the projector, uh, I did find it kind of annoying that uh, it was so bright over here. If, it's, if you're trying to watch a movie, you want it to be dark. Uh, so what I did was I made a little enclosure for it and it kept the, uh, kept the light out really well. So I'll show you how you made that. Alright, so I just made this uh, really quick and simple cardboard, uh, sort of like a pyramid uh, that uh, just is attached with uh, three sides and then attaches to the top just with duct tape. Uh, and then I used some uh, paper bags to uh, dampen the light from the fans but still allow the air to circulate. And all that combined really dampens the light that comes out of it. Uh, so if you see if I turn it off, turn the lights off, uh, the light is barely anything coming out of the projector and uh, still looks absolutely amazing on the wall.